The disruption that uh, is affecting all of us right now is tough and it's making life out there tough for everyone. We have a slight advantage in the UK music industry in that what is ultimately at the heart of and the core of our industry is young people who pick up musical instruments, who want to compose bits of music to be singers and songwriters and artists and performers. And thankfully, this country has a very distinguished history and pedigree where we just produce generation after generation of phenomenally talented young people. So yes, it's true in the last 10 years, we've been dealing with the whole disruption and the development of the online market, particularly through a period where nobody was quite too sure what that market was, and still to a large extent, it's still maturing. Uh, but the recent recessions and the whole kind of global economic outlook creates that kind of uncertainty and adds to the discussion now involved in every other sector of the British industry. Ironically, against all of that, the British industry is in pretty good shape. Uh, we are still the second largest exporter, net exporter of music in the world, of which there's only three. In round numbers, we I think last year was about 12% of all music bought in the world was made by a British artist. So I'm actually really optimistic about the future for the music industry. That's not to say like any other sector, we have a lot of work to do right now and an awful lot more to work or do over the next couple of years but we have the raw talent and the raw product. And I don't see going forward why the music industry, the British music industry should not continue to be the global dominating force that it is.